up guys, all of you beautiful thrill seekers, my name is Coach Chow, Doncaster born, both built for theme park news, and welcome to a theme park news update from Tornado Springs at Poulton's Park, specifically Storm Chaser, the max spinning coaster, the main attraction in the entire area. Now we do have an official opening date for the, um, the whole project, which I'm going to share with you as well. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned for all of that, as well as a shot from Twitter from Lawrence Mansey from Poulton's Park. Big shout out to Poulton's Park for this. Um, as a shot of this whole Storm Chaser with the queue line running un underneath some of it. So make sure you stay tuned for all of that. If you've loved this update, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And now let's hope you're doing it at home. Zoom into the video. So this is from Tornado Springs at Poulton's Park, and this is on Storm Chaser, their max spinning roller coaster. Now, if you want a bit of history on the project, then here is how it went. Early in 20, late 2018, uh, in the close season, this time last year, we got the news of a teaser for something coming in the spring of 2020. Obviously, it's now May that it's going to open, but we saw the teaser coming spring 2020. Hashtag TSTB, and we saw a bit of a desert like a deserted western town kind of feel we sort of thought what is happening at Portland's Park this is going to be a big project uh, we were predicting a coaster then we got the news that we knew where it was going this is replacing a couple of old animal enclosures and of course there was an old attraction called Gold River Rush I believe or Gold Rush Falls or Gold River Falls something like that it was a com it opened way back in like 2007 it was a combined panning for gold attraction and um like a mini golf kind of thing. It was spotted actually on the introduction video to the Poulton's Park Junior Reporters on the Poulton's Park YouTube channel uh, way back when that started in about 2010, you know, because it was during the time when Pig World was being constructed for the 2011 season. So, you know, that attraction's been around for quite some time and we knew that was going to go as well as a couple of old animal enclosures. They've been relocated and now this animal enclosure is being sort of demolished along with the old attraction. Uh, a bit of interesting facts here, the actual driving school of this new area, Al's Auto Academy, that is specifically where the old uh, Panning for Gold Mini Golf combined attraction was. So that's specifically being replaced by the driving school. But in terms of overall, it's the old Tornado Springs area that's replacing that sort of section. Uh, the old animal enclosures, I believe they were where... Cyclinator is, is going to be now. I'm not too sure about the animal enclosures, but I, I believe they were in the coaster area, if I'm not mistaken. So comment down below if you know for certain. I knew that the Panning for Gold mini golf attraction, the Gold River Falls, whatever it's called, was where the driving school is going to be. Uh, but I didn't know exactly where the animal enclosures are. I think I heard somewhere that they were in the where the coaster is now, or a part of the coaster is now. So uh, they're they're technically being replaced by Storm Chaser, I believe. So comment down below if you know for certain. But, like I said about the coaster, we knew a coaster was coming um, after the teaser of Storm Mac was revealed uh, back around, around Valentine's Day this year, 2019. Um, and we got the news. And basically, we got the uh, com confirmation of Tenero Springs later in the year, around the summertime. And then we got the news of the Storm Chaser name. Now, we knew that name was going to be used in some way because of the trademarks even before the teaser was revealed for the area. Um, back at the end of 2018, we knew something was coming because of the trademarks that were being filed. There were filing trademarks for uh, Tornado Springs, Route 83, um, Storm Chaser, uh, Al's Auto Academy or Al's Garage, something like that. There was a few trademarks being thrown around um, in a few places. And we got the news uh, that Storm Chase was the name for the coaster. Now we were thinking at some point it was going to be an extreme spinning coaster, but it isn't. It's the, it's the normal version. And I think that was the more likely possibility due to the fact that the owner of Portland's Park actually visited Toverland in 2018. And of course they've got a Mac family style spinning coaster called Dwerbal Wind. Now specifically Storm Chaser is a clone or a near clone, a couple of little adjustments or like turning off a different way, etc. But near enough it's a clone of Sierra Sidewinder. Uh, which is at Knott's Berry Farm. So it's good to get an American coaster clone here in the UK. Many people would have liked a custom model, but I think a clone was perfect for the park. I think it was good to get a clone or a custom model. Either way, I think this coaster was perfect for the park. Now we do have an image officially from Twitter, which we're going to share on your screen now. And a bit Aussie. And this image is from Twitter. Special shout out to Laurent Mansi for this image. And this is actually a complete look on Storm Chase. You can see the station in the background. You can see the 
uh, at the top of the lift hill. You can see it uh, coming down that first drop. Um, you can see it coming through that first uh, turn into the drop. You can see the whole way out, and you can see the root of the queue line as well. You can see how the queue line is going to sort of root around, come through the Buffalo Falls uh, belly, shall we say, the belly of the beast itself and come into the station. We can see how it's going to route around the coaster through Buffalo Falls' undercarriage, shall we say, and into the station for the ride. Now, again, big shout out to Paulton's Park for that image, but I am really excited about this project. I think it's gonna be brilliant. Uh, I've been really looking forward to this project. Now, I am still 50-50 on the, on the coming down for the opening day. Now, the opening day after seeing a poster recently, we believe is the 19th of May. Now, that's an interesting opening day. Um, I believe it's the 19th of May, um, well at least we think so anyway, <laughs> um, we got the, uh, the poster for it, so we knew it was, uh, one of those days, or just part of those days, uh, and things like that, uh, it is the 19th of May 2020 that the, it, according to the poster it's going to open, so, um, you know, it seems like 19th of May will be the opening day. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to get some news uh, on what will happen on the opening day, opening ceremonies, etc. What time it's going to open. Uh, again, still deciding to go to the opening day or not, but I think it, I would love to get down there for the opening day. It's going to be a big trip, not going to lie. You know, don't forget, I told, you that, I told you guys I was going to Prague with uni at the end of May, around 22nd of May. So it would be a bit of a, um, a, bit of a uh, shattering week. Um, from the 19th of May to the opening day of this new, this brand new big area at Poulton's Park, and then three days later going to Prague. So, you know, big trips, but I hopefully, fingers crossed, can fit them both in. Uh, so, so I'm going to Prague, obviously, 22nd till 30th of May, so there may be some news updates um, in the room somewhere, hopefully. Um, or just on, or if, there's, if I catch any news updates while I'm out there, I'll try and bring them and film them and stuff like that, but I'll have to. Uh, that'll be a week of no videos, basically. So I'll have to sort of upload them when I get back from Prague. Uh, so any news that I miss will be uploaded the week after. Um, but I'll try my best to keep you guys updated on the community side of the channel uh, while I'm over there. But in terms of the Portland Park trip, I really want to get down there for the opening day. If not, if there's a if there's a VIP slash press media day, if I get invited, then that'll be fantastic. Um, so I would like to try and get down for that, if not the opening day. So um, if I am invited to like a media day or something like that beforehand, I might, I'm going to try my best to get down for that rather than the public opening, uh, just so I can give myself a, an extra day or two rest before the Prague trip. So, um, But if not, then I'll go on the public opening day or I'll try my best to get down there for the public opening day. So big trips planned next year. Big, big trips. Um, but overall, really excited. You, could, you, you saw by that image on your screen, it looked fantastic. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this theme park nation update from Storm Chase at Poland's Park. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, make sure you do this at home. My name is Coach Shell. Keep living the coast of life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.